So what does every single fitness YouTuber need to do at least once? Okay, not steroids. I'm on about a full day of eating. So I'm gonna do that. They're quite boring videos, I'll be honest with you. No one really cares. I'm doing it for my own accountability, give my clients an example of what kind of food I eat, and who knows, maybe this can be helpful to you. It won't be all this booze up here. Most of it's empty, don't worry about that. So I'm gonna show you it. I've already actually had my first meal. I've got spots on my face, so it's not perfect time to do this video, but that's the point. You've gotta to learn to take imperfect action instead of waiting for the best thing. You don't need the perfect gym chart tracksuit to get in the gym. Go in there in your Primark, ripped jeans, whatever the fuck. Just gonna close this window here. That's better, isn't it? There we go, now you can hear me drone on about food and macros and stuff. So, full day of eating, I've already had my first meal. I'm gonna go and dig it out of the trash to show you what it is. Cycling here, lovely. Uh, we've got a protein yogurt, 18 grams. That is it, I've had that. And I've also had a banana. And one of these, uh, oh, fucking hell, come on, mate. Um, one of these as well. Got a fair bit of sugar in this one, actually, for one that didn't have sugar in it, but yeah. There you go. So to add a little bit of context, I am bulking. I'm trying to do a lean bulk. I've kind of already had a vacation where I've just eaten loads of crap. So my body fat is definitely higher than it needs to be. But I don't want to jump in between that bro cycle. You know, you do a bulk, you see a bit of fat, you panic, you go on a cut, you get small and go, oh no, I'm small, go on a bulk. I'm seeing it through. I'm going to tidy up my diet, <laughs> get rid of this stuff. Cut down on the pizzas and beer. Not that, I, to be fair, I've had like one pizza, but you get the point. I'm gonna eat healthier, better quality food. I'm not gonna go over my calories because I want to still stay lean and make quality gains. That's the context. We're hitting about 3,300 calories, 3,500 calories, thereabouts. Uh, high protein, high carb, moderate fats. Yes, yes. Cycle. With the eggs, I'm gonna have some oats because I do have to get a lot of carbs in. I normally have two of these, but when you track them, it tracks it with milk included, right? And I don't fancy a massive, milky, stodgy bowl of whatever. So I normally make it with hot water, but I'm gonna have one with milk today, maybe another one later if I need extra carbs. Use this to measure it out. Hooray, hope this milk's not gone off because it is quite hot. Smells all right. Oh yes. A quick tip with scrambled eggs, even though this actually looks disgusting, put it on a lower heat and stir it a lot more often because otherwise it gets all dry and sticks to the bottom and then it's hard to clean. And for years and years and years of me making eggs and hating it, I find that if you stir it like this throughout its duration, it comes out a lot nicer. I learned this from Gordon Ramsay, all right? Like I'm not even joking, from, like not in person, but on YouTube. See now. Look how lovely and fluffy and not horrible and dry these are. Now, normally it looks a bit cooler because I normally use red onions, so it looks a bit more colourful, but um, and I haven't even seasoned it yet like a maniac. I will do. I'm going to put some salt and pepper on it. But very, very nice. And then we've got a nice hot steaming bowl of oats over here. It's a very nice meal. High protein, fairly high fat, but nice quality fats and a bit of carbs. See, now, that looks a lot better now it's got the seasoning. Also, can you still hear all that shit outside? I don't know what they're doing. All right, so I've got a lot of carbs to get into this. I'm going to have some of these a little snacky snack. I'm going to weigh it out because I want it to be accurate. Oh, made a mess. 30. That's exactly what I needed. Alongside that, I'm going to have this little bag of dried mangoes. I like them in the little bags because if I get the big one, I'm just going to eat the whole thing and then I've got none left. So these little bags, perfect. Protein shake from a wine glass, is it? Mm hmm And you've got a salad. Yeah. A salad. Mm-hmm. Lovely. So the next meal is a classic chicken and, uh, I was gonna say chicken and rice. No, it's a chicken and wrap with some lettuce salad. Um, 100 grams of chicken. I'm gonna put some mayo and hot sauce and just weigh out the mayo as well. Oh, I don't have time to weigh things out. One, two, oh, three seconds. And we've got, can't even see it from here, four, nine grams. Burrito. I think someone summoned a breakfast burrito. <laughs> I know it's not a burrito, by the way, before anyone starts getting angry in the comments, it is a chicken wrap or tilladadur. I also cooked double the amount of chicken so I can chuck this in a wrap later when I'm busy for another chicken burrito. I mean wrap. Burrito. Still flickering. So it's not a meal, but I've got an iced latte. Iced latte, mate. Nice, nice. Cause it's hot. It is. Yeah. So just here with Mr. Keelan Biggs. Right, because uh, I'm being completely transparent, a couple of beer skis today, this is number two. I've got the slim bottles that are small, so less alcohol, not really a pint. I'll probably have all four, but I will be tracking them. Uh, and then a chicken wrap later, me thinks. What do you reckon? Fish finger for later. Fish finger for later. <laughs> Fish finger for later. 
Quick little snack, a little Belvita bar to boost them carbs. This is apricot, I think, and it tastes like a lady's perfume. It's a bit weird, but need those carbs. Burrito. So this is the last meal. Um, I thought I'd narrate it because my girlfriend was watching TV. But these packs of rice, it's actually two servings, not one. So if you scan the whole pack and eat the whole thing, and then it's going to say you've only had half a serving. Make sure you put two. Okay, so it's kind of the last meal. I've got chicken and rice, 250 grams of rice, 150 grams of chicken thighs. I stupidly picked a Tuesday to do a four day of eating. And the reason that's silly is that's the day I do all my band stuff. So playing a band, we write music, we do admin, all that kind of stuff on Tuesdays, which generally means I'm chilling at the computer, I'm writing music, uh, and normally have a couple of ears. So this is kind of like more of the most off the cuff, less flexible, uh, no, sorry, more flexible, less healthy, typical foods, very quick stuff. So quick chicken, you know, this is, Chucked in the oven. Chicken earlier was on the grill, microwave rice, beer. It's not the best example, but it goes to show how you can be busy, flexible, and still hit the basic nutritional requirements. I plenty of salad, I've had two bananas, kind of three of the day, four of the day. I'm gonna be having an apple and a protein shake later and an orange. So I am still consciously making the effort to get some good stuff in there. And that will actually take me to my calories for the day, which is 3,300. I'm not, it's a rest day, so I'm not going for 3,500. Carbs are 350, protein is 200, and the fats are 97. So that's what I've hit today. That's what I needed to hit. Bang on. Easy peasy, really. But I've done this for a long time, so it's quite easy to do. But that is a good example of the kind of food that I have on a, well, I say a typical day on a Tuesday, on a busy typical day. Um, normally, it's a little bit more planned out. But I may do another one of these. I know they're not that exciting or that interesting. But people like to see them. People have, you know, asked me what I eat in four day. I used to like watching these on YouTube. And it's the first thing to... I ain't got any good YouTube ideas yet. I don't want to do the clickbait shit. I don't want to be all like, hey, guys, ooh, it's YouTube. Ooh. I'm not going to do any of that. I just want to show you the reality of what it is. So that's what I've had. Hit the like button or the dislike button. Um, if you want uh, help working out your calories and your macronutrients, you can download a nutritional blueprint in the description below. Is that it? What else do I have to do on YouTube? Subscribe, like, tell a friend, show your nan. I don't have a course, so you can't buy my course. So, yeah. There you go. Follow my Instagram. There you go. Elite Transformation Project. So, yeah. I hope you liked the video. Let me know what you want to see on YouTube. Uh... Quite hard to come up with YouTube stuff, isn't it? There you go. Thanks. Thanks for watching. If you watched, if you didn't watch, then you wouldn't see this. So 